body as per requested this is how I prep my fleece so this is one I've done previously it is not washed yet but ready to go about seven to eight hundred grams of Corydale uh, I did this over about three to four days in, in batches uh, as you can see it's really neat this kind of technique is really only worth it if you've got a really lovely fleece that you really want to show some love to. This is a fleece I did previously in the same way. Uh, this is beautiful washed. Uh, the locks kept their form. They barely felt it on the end. I haven't flicked them yet because I'm going to put them in the dye pot. Uh, in the dye pot they hold their form really well and they don't felt as long as you don't stir the pot too much. This is some fleece that I tore off to show you how I do this. This is some I've done previously. As you can see the locks are separate. It doesn't take much. This is a really clean easy fleece. Um, pretty much just pull it off always by the tip not the cut end and then I just lay it on top and I get rid of the fluffy bits so separate get rid of those fluffy bits you don't want that because the fluffy bits on the end because they can felt and stick together. This is a great opportunity to get rid of second cuts, VM, any tender bits of the fleece, any bits of the fleece that just aren't worth keeping for your project. So tear like so. You could keep it like that but it's better for washing purposes if you have it flatter the dirt will be able to escape a bit easier this is a really nice clean fleece a lot easier than the one I just did and you can feel while you're doing all this where your grass seeds are So I'll finish there and show you what I do next. This is a piece of soft tulle. I've cut out multiples of these. Um, it's not the really stiff tulle. Some people like to use that because it keeps its form when it's wet a bit better. But I reckon that the um, the cut ends they really they stick to the fleece really bad. So I prefer the soft ones. It's no right or wrong way to do this though and then I just lay them out um, rule of thumb is that if the fleece is really dirty I'll only do one flat layer of the locks per bag but this fleece is really clean so I'm gonna do about two layers and then we fold them in I've got giant safety pins here. It's a lot easier than stapling because with the staples then you've got to try and get them out without wrecking the chore. It's easier than sewing them. So I'm just going to fold those in. Voila! You've got a chul sausage. And now I'm going to make some more and then we'll get to washing fleece. 